Basketball, as you know, is a game in which teamwork is of a vital importance. Championship teams should be ready for any situation as it arises by being able to diagnose opponents' play offensively and defensively while the ball is in motion and to adopt their own play accordingly. The most important requisite, however, is a clear understanding of the fundamentals of the game. Seeing makes for better understanding. Therefore, the following pictures are presented to analyze these fundamentals. The simplest and oldest of basketball defenses is the man-to-man. -man. Blacks follow whites wherever they can, man-to-man. -man. Theoretically, this is the perfect defense since every attacker is fully covered at all times. Watch black number 17 wave his hands to knock down passes whether his opponent is in front or behind him. Let's take this defense from practice to the game situation. Guard should watch his opponent and not turn his head. In watching the ball exclusively, he misses his opponent on his way in. If man and ball can't be seen at the same time, watch the man. Note black 12, he stopped to watch the ball. Effective against a man-to-man -man defense, is this two-man stratagem. White's maneuvers put blacks in a straight line. Rear black should switch, although there is no screen. Another maneuver using the same straight lineup, rear guard should step back to avoid being trapped. This time, black 11 should have deserted his original opponent, although there is no screen. Particularly effective against a man-to-man -man is an attack revolving about the pivot. Here, pivot man fakes a pass, pivots, and shoots. This time, Pivot feeds the cutter, who scores when the defense does not switch. Here, man guarding the Pivot is too anxious to switch, and Pivot scores. Screening is effective against a man-to-man. -man. Here is a Pivot screen. Next, the rolling screen. Very difficult to combat. The Pivot does not have to be stationary, nor must it be one man. Five moving pivots, all acting as playmakers, not permitting the defense to get set. Avoid pass interceptions. Note stripe pass receiver standing still. Defensive guard observes his fault and watches for an opening. The receiver should come towards his ball. In this championship encounter, pivot receiver stands still and interception resulted. Receiver should also move out of line to help passer. Stripe guard is in position to bat down passes to the pivot. Note how he moves in relation to the ball. Once the pivot has the ball, guard steps back, ready to block shot or to switch if screen develops. Watch pivot under basket. His guard is playing him incorrectly by being too close when pivot gets the ball. adapting the defense to combat a pivot attack. These striped shirts are making it difficult to get a pass into the pivot. If he does manage to get the ball, they rush him for a hell ball. Here it is in a game. Watch the blacks. A screening attack. Success of the man-to-man -man defense depends on switching. Correct switching against a screen by both defensive men. Stripes, a small man, has been trapped into guarding a big pivot man. Calls for a switch. To retrieve rebounds, each guard in black gets in front of white. These rebounds, on which possession may change, occur on an average of 90 per game. A rebound after a foul attempt. Defense switches if offense cross cuts. After recovering, dribble to the side and start attack immediately. Watch striped shirt.
In this game, the retriever appears trapped, but gets rid of the ball and initiates attack. On the other hand, this retriever fails to dribble to side and is trapped and loses the ball. Defense against a fast break. Last man back should retreat and protect after a goal attempt. Stripe shirt here fails to do this with disastrous results. Note that the layup is a two-handed shot. The left hand adjusts the ball until it is finally released by the right. So much for the man-to-man -man defense. In order to remedy weaknesses in the man-to-man, -man, coaches devised zone defenses, which, in general, operate on the principle of various zones of the court being covered, instead of guarding individual men. <clears throat> on the other hand, to combat this, there were developed special attacks based on the principle of overloading. That is, putting two offensive men in one defender's zone, or three men in two defenders' zones. The simplest of these defenses is one with fixed zones. Three men under the basket, two in mid-court. Striped shirt is trapped by mass defense underneath. He pivots, throws out, and the offense scores by overloading the area covered by two front men. However, this shifting zone defense which starts with three back, two up, shifts to meet overloading in direction of striped shirt. Watch shifting, combat, overloading. It's poison to throw high looping passes against his own defense. It gives the defense time to shift or intercept the pass. Watch this fundamental error in championship basketball. A series of high looping passes lead to an interception and basket. Penetrating a zone defense with a moving pivot. Note the overloading at the mid-court. Result, two blacks have been forced to cover three whites. Pivot moves towards the ball to make interception difficult. Rapid ball handling and overloading clears white man underneath the basket. When Pivot's guard is too anxious to cover the man underneath, Pivot feints the pass and himself attempts to score. Here is an excellent example of zone penetration in championship basketball. These players are maneuvering in and out with short passes. Suddenly, a player pulls out of a congested area and gets off a set shot. Striped shirts under backboard are guarding zones, while three front blacks are guarding man to man. This combination is death to cutting. But not so strong against smart ball handling and long range shooting, because striped men will not come up to mid court to cover the shooter. A sliding man-to-man -man defense with a zone principle. Each white is covered by a black. But blacks do not cross each other's pass. Instead, they slide, even when whites are crossing. In this type of defense, guards must continually talk it up to anticipate switches. This is an energy-saving defense, but requires exacting teamwork. Here is an excellent example of a sliding man-to-man -man defense changing rapidly to a fast-breaking offense. A pressing defense. Note how blacks cover whites under their own basket in an attempt to get possession of the ball. Because of the 10-second rule, defensive players, by pressing, make it difficult for the offense to get the ball across mid-court within their allotted time. Whites set up a pivot in their own half of the court and cross cut in order to get men in the clear. It is obvious that screening is also effective against this defense. <laughs>